you have asked us to look at a new tough mailer that attacks Republican congressional candidate Stuart Mills. We sent political reporter Nick Minock to put the mailer's claims up to our fact check in tonight's top story. It costs a lot to get this look. Lucky for Stuart Mills III, he inherited millions. The attack adds that disavow the personal wealth of Republican congressional candidate Stuart Mills have morphed into mailers that are inundating voters' mailboxes. This mailer by the DFL party paints Stuart Mills as a multimillionaire who supports the agenda of outsourcers. The first claim we looked at says the billionaire Koch brothers closed their Georgia Pacific plant in Duluth, costing the city 140 jobs. This claim is true. Georgia Pacific, which is owned by Koch Industries, closed their Duluth plant in 2012, which cost 100. 40 people their jobs. The second claim we looked at is the Koch brothers are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to elect Stuart Mills to Congress. That claim is unprovable because the money the mailer cites is spent by dark money groups, which do have ties to the Koch brothers, but we can officially determine how much money the Koch brothers have personally pumped into Minnesota's 8th congressional district race. Oh, we do hear a lot of news of their um, independent expenditures, two different campaigns across the country, uh, again, for, for Republican candidates. Political scientist Elisa Von Hagel says Democrats have long made boogeymen out of the Koch brothers because they give money to Republicans. But she adds it's important to note Democrats have billionaire donors of their own. The last claim we looked at says Mills supports tax breaks for billionaires and multinational corporations. According to our research, this claim is deceptive, if not false. The mailer uses Mills' campaign website to back up its claim. But nowhere on Mills' website does it say that he supports tax breaks for billionaires and multinational corporations. According to the political experts we spoke with, this mailer attacking Stuart Mills is misleading, and it has mixed degrees of truth. With your fact check, I'm Nick Minot, KBJR 6 and Range 11. To see more of our fact checks or to suggest one, you can connect by visiting our website, nncnow.com.